Hello and welcome back to this course about our solar system. Now let's talk about the dwarf planet Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped region of icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. There may be millions of these icy objects collectively referred to as Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, or trans-Neptunian objects, TNOs, in this distant region of our solar system. Pluto, which is smaller than our moon, has a heart-shaped glacier that's the size of Texas and Oklahoma. This fascinating world has blue skies, spinning moons, mountains as high as the Rockies, and it snows, but the snow is red. Here are some quick facts about Pluto. Number one, Pluto is about 1,400 miles or 2,380 kilometers wide. That's about half the width of the United States or two-thirds the width of our moon. Number two, Pluto orbits the sun about 3.6 billion miles or 5.8 billion kilometers. Three, one year on Pluto is about 248 years on our planet Earth and a day on Pluto is about six days on our planet Earth, which is 153 hours. Four, Pluto is officially classified as a dwarf planet. Five, Pluto has five moons. The largest, Charon, is so big that Pluto and Charon orbit each other like a double planet. Six, Pluto has no ring system. Pluto's surface is far too cold to sustain life as we know it, the temperature can go down up to negative 378 to negative 396 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 228 to negative 238 degrees Celsius. In pop culture, when Pluto was reclassified in 2006 from a planet to a dwarf planet, there was widespread outrage on behalf of the planet. Many movies and TV shows are inspired from Pluto, like the Disney cartoon character Pluto, Mickey's fateful dog that made his debut in 1930, and in the 1987 Mel Brooks film Spaceball, among many others. On July 14, 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made its historic flight through the Pluto system, providing the first close-up images of Pluto and its moon and collecting other data that has transformed our understanding of these mysterious worlds on the solar system outer frontier. So here is a great mission to keep in mind, NASA's New Horizons. The New Horizon mission is helping us understand world at the edge of our solar system by making the first reconnaissance of the dwarf planet Pluto and by venturing deeper into distance, mysterious Kuiper belt, a relic of the solar system formation. New Horizons launched on January 19, 2006 and conducted a six month long reconnaissance flyby study of Pluto and its moon in 2015. The National Academy of Science has ranked the exploration of the Kuiper belt, including Pluto, of the highest priority for solar system exploration. New Horizon is exploring for the first time how ice dwarf planets like Pluto and Kuiper belt bodies have evolved over time. So let's recap for the kids. Pluto is a dwarf planet that lies in the Kuiper belt, an area full of icy bodies and other dwarf planets out past Neptune. Pluto is very small, only about half the width of the United States, and its biggest moon, Charon, is about half the size of Pluto. Almost all the planets travel around the sun in nearly perfect circles, but not Pluto. Pluto takes an oval-shaped path with the sun, and its path is quite tilted compared to the planets. And to quote Alan Stern, New Horizons principal investigator from the Southwest Research Institute in Colorado, quote, it is clear to me that the solar system saved the best for last. We could not have explored a more fascinating or scientifically important planet at the edge of our solar system. The New Horizons team worked for 15 years to plan and execute this flyby and Pluto pay us back in space. Thanks for watching and goodbye.